Hey guys, we are in the quality control lab section of Agro Ideas International Company. Today I have an instructor, his name is um, Mr. Edidion Jack. And we have some samples of palm kernel. So we'll be checking this for moisture and some other parameters, about four parameters. And so I leave us to our instructor to teach us. This quality control unit of Agro Ideas International Limited. My name is Edith Young Jack. I'll be taking you on what we do here in the laboratory. Firstly, since our major raw material says palm kernel, I'll be taking you on the four tests that involves in this palm kernel. Number one is the shell content. You have to check the shell contents in the sample before you can use it for our production. We also test for moisture contents, also test for the oil content in the sample. Then we also test for free fatty acid. Then we take shell contents. The materials, the apparatus involved are the cork, the lab knife, the chuka. Then we have the uh, bucket also the weighing balance. You have to first of all mix the sample so that they will evenly be distributed in order for you to have a well mixed sample. Then you take a handful or two and weigh in a, in, on the weighing balance. After weighing it, you pour it on the workbench. Then you carefully select the shell from the palm kernel. At the end of it all, you have to weigh the shell again, which you take as weight two. So at the end, you calculate it. The answer you have will give you the percentage shell content for that sample. Then we take the moisture content. The apparatus involved is the weighing balance. We have the Petri dish, the spatula, and then the grinder, which you take a handful or two of the sample, you grind it in order for you to have a fine particles about four times in the grinder. Then you take it to the weighing balance using the Petri dish. You take the empty weight of the Petri dish, and then you record the reading, and then pour out 10 grams of the sample using a spatula. Then you oven dry it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. After oven drying it, you keep it, you put it in a desiccator to cool. After cooling, you weigh it again. That is the second weight. From there, you calculate it. The, uh, the first weight minus the second weight multiply by the number of sample, all over 100. That will give you the percentage moisture content for that particular sample. Then for oil content, using the grounded sample that we had already, you weigh five grams of the sample on a weighing balance using a filter paper. Then you carefully fold it and put it in the extraction thimble. After putting it in the extraction thimble, you weigh an empty flask. You take the reading, then you, to the flask you pour about 200 ml of hexane to it. Then you place it in the heating mantle. After placing it, you use a reflux tube. Then you set up the apparatus, a combination of the flask, the reflux tube, and then the condenser is what we call succulent extractor. Then you set up the apparatus and allow it to be there for two hours. After which you remove it, then you pour out your sample. The sample we put in the extraction thimble. You pour, pour it out, then you employ a simple distillation method by recollecting your exam. 
Now you will be left with the oil alone in the flask. But the oil left will not be pure. It will still contain some traces of the exam. By that, we employ a drying method. You, you dry it either in the oven or in the heating mantle. You dry it to about four minutes. After drying, you put in the desiccator to cool. After cooling, you weigh it again. I mean the flask. After when you take the reading, then the answer you have, that will be the second weight minus the first weight, divided by the grams of the sample, which was five grams. They multiply by 100. The result it will give you is the percentage oil content for that particular sample.